Hello, stamping friends. This is Jenny from Celebrate the Journey. And I'm joining you with a virtual video today. Because guess what? We're on a vacation again. We like to do that sometimes. Well, last week when we were making the um, mini card on a card, we talked about this pretzel paper. And what would we do with it? Because it is kind of strange to have pretzels. <laughs> I thought of something. So, I don't know about you, but when you go to Germany, you always have beer and pretzels. So, I thought, well, we'll just make a beer card. And I'll show you. I wanted to show you real quickly how to make it look, you know, a little different than what you're used to. So, we're going to make beer and pretzels today. We're going to do a mini card on a card. So I'm not going to go over the measurements with you because you can get those from when I did that card before. So we're just going to add our pretzel paper. We're going to use a piece of Calypso coral behind it. And I cut out my scallop that I'm going to use because nobody will know that that's behind there. So we're taking a quick trip to New York. Uh, we're going to watch our friend's cat. We're professional cat sitters, you know. And so we just get to enjoy the city while we take care of her little kitty. And meet up with friends that live there, take in some shows, eat some good food. All the things you do when you're on a little trip. Then that same eclectic Delightfully eclectic paper. I thought the blue and the coral both went together. You know, we've talked about this paper a lot because you get so many cool designs. A little bit of white show in there, but it's not going With this paper, it's such a, a good a bargain and now that you'll know how to use the pretzels you'll want this paper so we just do all our layering here and get that out of the way so we've got our mini card on a card I think we can go ahead and even put that on here. And then we can do some stamping. Rub that down good. Oh, I need to get another, I only got one part of the, this is two-step stamping. I didn't get the second set stamp. There we go. We need the, the, the beer. That's, that's what that is. So I just have a piece of basic white to do our stamping. We'll use Memento Black. And we'll do the beer stein. And then the jug, that's actually called a growler. 
I don't know why, where it got that name from. Oh, and then we need um, the foam. And I think I'm going to, I don't know, do I have room? I better get another piece of paper for the foam. Now for the beer, we have this stamp that will just fill it in. We'll use Daffodil Delight. And then we have to color the growler. I'm going to see what lemon lolly looks like. It might. No, I think it's okay. And we'll just add some beer in our growler. It's a little lighter than the daffodil, but I think it's okay. I'm going to put that to the side. Now, we're going to do something really different because this is, this is nice. There's nothing wrong with this, but we want it to look like glass. So we're going to put a window sheet on top of this before we die cut it and then it will look more like a real glass of beer so we're going to use our adhesive sheets We'll put that on the out window. I think I can cut that off there. You don't want adhesive sheet hanging, hanging off because it will stick to your plates. So we'll trim that little extra off. I was thinking this works great for the beer. It would look work. This technique would work great for the so refreshing with you're making that big jug of lemonade or sangria, whatever you choose to have in your so refreshing jug. Bottled happiness. You could put a window sheet on that. Now that looks foggy, but when we put it on our paper, now it will look like you have clear glass. I don't know, can you see that? I got glue on it, but we'll wipe that off. Isn't that cool looking? We'll get all that goo off after we die cut it. Get out this and I'll do our foam at the same time. Put 
Oh, it's pretty slick here with the window sheet. Let's see if I can get that going. This ought to fit in the mini cut and emboss. already slipped. We'll put two pieces on there to hold it tight. Looks like it's moving a little bit. It just looks like a bunch of bandages, like a mummy. crackling because it's cutting through the acetate and the paper. It's making a lot of it, but we're going to run it back through the second time because it is having to cut a thicker than usual. Piece. That looks like that worked. And I guess we'll go ahead and do our bubbles or foam. If you have any of the puff paint left from Christmas a couple years ago, could use that on our foam. You do have to use the heat gun puff that up though. So we're not going to use it today. I might do it later. We can just put some Wink of Stella on our foam today. Pull these bandages off here. <laughs> now see we've got a clear growler. And there's our glass of beer. I'm going to get a baby wipe and we'll get that glue off. Probably my sticky fingers. Or it could be a little of the adhesive from the adhesive sheet. We want our glass nice and clean. I think that got that. It, I just love it when it looks like it's a real mug. Isn't that nice and shiny? Go ahead and clean my fingers while I have this. And now we're about ready to put our card together. So I have our circles. I took a little bit of the glorious gingham and I cut a half, not a half circle, but a little bit of a, you know, just use the circle and cut a little, little bit to make our tablecloth here. So 
So our beer will be sitting on the table. dimensionals. It's only going to get dimensionals on one side there, so we'll just put a few right there to hold it on. We can add more if we need to. I have my repositionable tape here, so we'll just hope we can get that circle in there nice. And we'll put our beer on here. We use some mini dimensionals to put the foam on our beer. Cut a little strip for the side piece. And then one more, I guess, right there. Now we need our pretzels. So we're just going to fussy cut two <laughs> pink pretzels. I even thought, gosh, I wonder what would happen if you used a blending brush and or marker and tried to color the pretzels. And then I just decided, you know, it's it's fine. They can be orange pretzels because this is a nice colorful card. I've got so much glue on these, it's crazy. Let's see if I can have to get the goo gone after those scissors. These aren't too hard to cut out, and I certainly would not worry about cutting out the inside pieces. This is not worth it. And now we'll put our little pretzels on here. I think they can go on with like one dimensional each. Put a little mini one on this one. Bring that down a little bit. Isn't that cute? Now we've got our growler and we need to put our sentiment that says, hmm, 
another round for your birthday. Looked like I got too much ink on there almost. Now, since I don't have my tape here, we're just going to hope we get this in the right place. I think we'll pay attention to that little line there. That works. Now our growler can go here, and you don't see it until you open it up. And if you wanted to add another pretzel, you could. Move that over just a tiny bit. Doesn't have to be that tight. There we go. Could put two little bubbles um, there if you wanted to. So you see our shiny beer mug, Stein, and then our growler. All ready to go for a fun little birthday card. Because we're on vacation, I won't have a lot of videos for you for the next two weeks, but pop in and out, and I might have one or two, and you'll be able to still get some inspiration. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.